Did you know that your Tesla has a motion detected video recording alarm system? Yeah, that's right. It records video from the driver's side. It also records video from the passenger side. And it also records video right in front of the car. Okay, so in today's video, what we're gonna talk about is one, how to get your video recording motion sensing alarm system working. And for those of you that already know how to do that and already do that today, the second part of this video is gonna talk about how to access those files without a computer at the convenience inside your car and from your phone in an easy organized manner. So if you're interested in just the part two, I'll put a timestamp right here so you can just jump to that part and watch that. Let's get started. Okay, to get dash cam and to get sentry mode and basically the motion sensing video recording system working, you really only need one thing and that's a USB drive. You're gonna plug it into one of the USB ports underneath the phone dock in the center console. One of those ports need to be used for the USB drive. Now you can use any USB drive you want, and the only requirement is that the drive needs to be formatted in FAT32. So from a Mac, you're just gonna open up the drive, you're gonna go into Disk Utility, choose to format the drive and choose MS-DOS FAT. You can label the drive whatever you want, but inside the drive, there should be a folder called Tesla Cam. As long as that folder's there, when you pop it into your car, you will see the dash cam icon appear on the top of your screen with a red dot. That means that it is always recording whenever you're driving. If something should happen, just touch that camera button and it will record the last 10 minutes and store it securely so that it doesn't get overwritten. If you plug in your USB drive into a Windows machine, I know some of the newer machines don't allow formatting for FAT32, so you will need a third-party application. I'll put a link to that down below. Use that application, format it as FAT32. It's pretty simple. Once you have your drive formatted in FAT32 with a with the Tesla Cam folder in there, drop that into your center console and you're good to go. The second part of this is sentry mode. So sentry mode is the motion sensing alarm system that I talked about. So to enable that, you're gonna have an icon at the top of your screen that you can enable it. You can also enable it directly from your phone. As well, you can enable it such that it automatically becomes enabled depending on where you are so that when you're at favorite locations, it won't turn on. And the way sentry mode works, it's basically using the front dash cam camera as well as the two side marker cameras as you saw earlier in the video to catch motion when sensed and start recording. So if somebody pulls up next to you, walks next to your car, it's gonna be captured. If that door dings you or if somebody hits your car, it's very likely to be captured. If you haven't seen some of the videos that are out there of things happening getting caught on sentry mode, you should check it out and you should definitely enable sentry mode. And that's basically how to enable the camera feature. Now we're gonna talk about how to make it easy to view the footage. Now there's tons of options when it comes to USB drive, memory cards, adapters, and so forth. So pick your choosing, but today I wanna highlight one and I'll explain the reason why. You can use adapters and you can use memory cards and you can use USB drives and plug micro SDs into readers and as long as there's a USB port, it'll work. But today I want to focus on the SanDisk Wi-Fi USB drive. And the reason for this is because it works perfectly with the app that I'm going to talk about. So I know, the question is, well Raj, why do I have to buy a specific USB drive when I can use any USB drive that I want and I can get one for a lot cheaper? Well, A, this drive is not that expensive, and B, it's because of the way the files are stored on the drive. Once you start accumulating footage on your drive, take the drive and stick it into your computer. 
It's an inconvenience that you now have to take your USB drive into the house, pull out your laptop, plug it in, and sort through the footage. And the footage is not organized in a clean and efficient manner. That also too, you're dealing with three separate video footage, a separate video for the right camera, a separate video for the left camera, and a separate video for the center camera. You're sorting through all of it and it just takes up a lot of time and it's just not messy. So Tesla, please fix that. Until then, we're gonna talk about an app called Sentry Viewer. And Sentry Viewer pairs perfectly with this Wi-Fi USB drive and allows you to view all the footage right from your mobile device in your car as long as you're running an iOS device. Okay, so you've got your Sentry Mode enabled, you've got your USB drive in place, and you get back to your car after parking it for a while with Sentry Mode on and you're presented with this message. Now, that means that something was detected and something was recorded. But, how do you view that? You can only view that if you connect your USB drive to your computer. Well, not with Sentry View, the app that we just talked about. All you have to do is disconnect your USB drive from the center console. To do that, press and hold the camera icon at the top of the screen until the red recording light goes away. That means it's safe to unplug. When you plug it back in, you'll need to press it again to make sure the red recording button appears and is recording. Once the red record button is off, you're gonna go ahead and unplug the USB drive. You're gonna hold down the side button on the USB drive to enable Wi-Fi. Once that's done, go into your iPhone, connect to the drive via Wi-Fi, and then fire up the Sentry View app. From there, it'll ask you, do you want to connect? And then you'll be presented with all of your recordings in an easier, cleaner format to view. And for each minute, you're going to see all three angles in the same screen. What's really nice is it's really easy to delete clips right from your USB drive to free up space. Uh, and soon to be released is an easy export option that will be coming in a future release. This just makes it really easy to be able to quickly check your drive to see what happened while you were away. Is there anything worth recording? So that way you just don't look dumb looking around the car looking for what happened or if anything happened or if there's any scratches, you look kind of dumb. This way you can do it from the comfort of your cabin, make sure everything's good, throw it back in and be on your way. All right, hopefully you learned a lot from this video. You learned how to enable sentry mode and enable the dash cam feature in your car, as well as learned how to view that footage in an easy, simple way right within your car using your iPhone and your USB drive. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button down below and make sure that you tell your friends to subscribe, as well as if you yourself have not subscribed, hit the subscribe button down below as well. If you have any questions about this setup or the app or anything of that sort, leave them down below or shoot me an email, raj at teslaraj.com. Remember to follow me on Twitter as I'm always posting on there and I'll catch you guys next time. See ya.